Machine. Well, it's drifted, Mac. Uh, the reflection of the negativity in the ring is coming from the exchanges. Currently available at 7 to 1 on Betfair King Regal. That doesn't really exude confidence for you. New Little Brick and Bob Hall are the ones to be on. Runners coming out then for this first race. And uh, they're away. Third Cheltenham Roar of the week as they go towards the first fence. Vic Venturi is one of the first to begin the tail end of their Milan de Mille, held up uh, well off the gallop in the early stages as they now head towards the second. Vic Venturi with King Revo and Pole Star and Dictum all very close. Dictum in a purple jacket as they clear the second fence and all safely over that. Desert Air is being scrubbed along at a very early stage in a pink jacket towards the inside. On now towards fence number three and pole star on the right the light blue of Vic Venturi big jump from dictum and then uh, out wide of runners is flying enterprise in a white cap followed by limited edition and then up the inside King Revo with rash arrow close up uh, then uh, close up also is new little brick from chief yeoman as they begin this left hand turn uh, King's Advocate is just behind Chief Yeoman, then Aztec Warrior, Night Legend in a big noseband, yellow jacket towards the inside. We Robbie further back with Bob Hall, Desert Air and Fabler, Lantartique, and Milan de Mille is the back marker. On towards fence number four, Pole Star, rather lit up here, leads the way. Uh, Bunny hops over from Vic Venturi, Rash Arrow and Dictum. On the far side, the white cap worn by Tony McCoy aboard King Revo. Then in the yellow sleeves limited edition from Chief Yeoman. New little brick in the uh, royal blue with the pink epaulets and cap in about fifth or sixth place. The uh, solid favourite. Desert Air gets more reminders as they now head towards another plain fence. Pole Star followed by Rash Arrow. Vic Venturi limited edition far side Chief Yeoman. And then behind these is New Little Brick with Dictum out wide. Wider out is Flying Enterprise. In the midfield at the moment, King's Advocate. With uh, Close with him is King Revo. Then Bob Hall and up the inside is uh, then uh, Night Legend. We Robbie further back. Lantartic, Aztec Warrior, Far Blur, Tora Bora. Now coming under a bit of pressure. Third last, second last, Milan de Mille. And Desert Air just hasn't travelled at all and is the back marker. Heading to the back straight now. And Pole Star continues to make it in the hands of Paul Maloney from Rash Arrow, the Scottish Raider in second place as they run downhill. Limited edition is close up in third. Dicton towards the outside. King's Advocate is close up. And Vic Venturi back on the inside. New Little Brick, the 7-2 favourite, jumps this about 6th or 7th in the ruck there. Uh, with on his outside, Flying Enterprise and wide out, Wee Robbie in the yellow and the blue striped sleeves as they head towards the water jump. Rash Arrow will pick up just ahead, perhaps, here at Pole Star. Many uh, close up behind, though. Bob Hall was a bit slow over the water. Desert Air continues to struggle. Aztec Warrior is a bit off the pace, along with Tora Bora, as they jump this open dish. Pole Star nods on landing, went through the top there. Rash Arrow, the better jump. We Robbie on the left. And then limited edition, new little brick and dictum still close up. Jump up and this time, Polestar, a much more serious blunder. And blunders Paul Maloney away there. Rash Arrow left with the advantage to Wee Robbie. Melanda Meal has make up, made up rapid ground on the outside. The orange colours was well adrift in the early stages. They jumped this open ditch and Melanda Meal almost in front there as they now go to another plane fence. Melanda Meal, limited edition and Rash Arrow. Wee Robbie on the far side. Vic Venturi, the black and yellow colours, new little brick, Dictum, King's Advocate, then Flying Enterprise and Chief Yeoman, another mistake back in the field from Bob Hall as now they reach the top of the hill. They've got this uh, fence, uh, the fourth last coming up, there's still about five furlongs from the finish, and Melanda Meal has come through to lead the way. On the right there, jumps it well from Wee Robbie, limited edition is a faller there, limited edition still in touch amongst the Stradlers, Aztec Warrior and King Revo, who's dropped away badly, tailing off, Milan de Mille, We Robbie second, Rash Arrow, New Little Brick on the near side, moves up into third now in the Royal Blue Colours as they jump three out, Milan de Mille, a little nod on landing from We Robbie, another faller there was Chief Yeoman under Sam Thomas, and We Robbie now gallops on, New Little Brick going into second, then Milan de Mille, running on his Bob Hall despite a few jumping errors, then Rash Arrow, after the 
is uh, is Lantar Teak in the blue with the hoops on the sleeves running on as well. Down towards the second last. Two fences in the straight today. And it's Wee Robbie ahead of Bob Hall. Then Rash Arrow, New Little Brick, and Lantar Teak still staying on on the far side. And he's going to challenge the leader. Wee Robbie, Lantar Teak, then Bob Hall and Rash Arrow, New Little Brick as they race for the final fence. And Lantar Teak comes to take over. Jumps it just ahead of Wee Robbie. Then Bob Hall, they're clear of Rash Arrow as they race up the hill. Lantar Teak by three legs, shifts right-handed. Bob Hall is running on on the far side. Then we Robbie. Lantar Teak is beginning to need the winning post. He's got two legs in hand, though. And Lantar Teak and Graham Lee win from Bob Hall in second. We Robbie third, Rash Arrow four. Then Vic Venturi and King's Advocate. New Little Brick faded under his big weight. Then Milan de Mule and Flying Enterprise. Dictum next from Knight Legend Aztec Warrior and Fabler, they were the only ones to finish because Desert Air, Tora Bora and the disappointing King Revo were pulled up. Well, Graham Lee, who had a, a fine spin on Aces 4 yesterday in the Sun Alliance uh, alongside Dictum for a long way. He's come home in front this time on Lantartique for trainer Ferdy Murphy, who of course sent out Joe's Edge to win on the first day of the meeting and now joins Alan King at the top of the Racing Post Trainers Award ta table. This horse made relentless headway through the last mile. Uh, quite nicely handicapped, good jump at the last, just began to wander around on the running, but held on gamely. Alice is with Graham Lee now. Graham, he held on gamely. Yeah, I am. Um, he came in such a run, Alice. I'll probably go there very soon when I've landed his idol, you know. But uh, he's gone some gallop. I wanted to be a lot handier than that, but he jumped impeccably. Uh -huh. And uh, happy days. Happy days. New association with Ferdy Murphy, and it just couldn't have gone better. Happier than I've ever been. Uh -huh. It's gone great, touch wood. Well done, well done.